Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. These energies can go vice versa. And so what we have is the lilies and we have the moon that follows. Um, the lilies is about taking one's time, something that could take a long time. It could be uh, needing to take one's time. It could be um, about thoughtful choices, um, thinking something over. I mean, really thinking it over, taking your time, a long time to think about something. Um, this could be about how they spend their time and so they would be spending their time or have been spending their time thinking rethinking um i feel like this person uh has been either they feel they've been left in the dark or they've left you in the dark about how they really feel. The moon is about things that pull at us emotionally. Um, and so they've been spending their time thinking about a situation that is really um, pulling at them emotionally. There's a lot of unknown factors around that situation with the moon being there. Um, it could also be the subconscious mind um, emotional baggage that has put them here. Um, <clears throat> they could be thinking about something that they really desire, but don't know how to get, you know. Um, I feel like there's a realization here, like this is really emotional. This person's really feeling emotional because we have the moon we have this scorpio energy here you see and we have the moon again and we have these cups we have longing and we have burdens so somebody is really being burdened by something troubled by something uh, or at least they 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 were and they've been uh thinking this over or how to handle it perhaps or having to rethink a situation so um i feel like uh, this person has been longing to reveal something to you uh here there, th this talks about a longing a wish a desire uh with the moon it is about some type of uh, revelation, something that you don't know about. Um, they could represent things that were left unsaid, undone in the, in the past. Um, they want to get something off their chest, off their chest, twice here with the cross and the anchor. They want to stabilize this situation with the anchor, and there's very deep uh, emotions feelings uh, s surrounding this desire. Seven of Cups in reverse tells us that there's uh, they got a, a feeling, possibly a, a sinking feeling, that they've made a bad decision um, in the past. Um, it looks like the Grand Duke is here and he's uh, stroking this line and he's just sitting there looks towards the past like he's waiting and watching and I have that same type of energy here I feel like he's waiting he's been waiting and he's been thinking um, and whatever this is of course it really pulls at this person emotionally um, I feel like this uh, person may have made a mistake 
feels like they've made a mistake and I feel like this is greatly burdening them. Maybe um, they're trying to build the confidence to uh, reach out and to get this off their chest. They could be trying to build the confidence to do this. So at the heart of the reading, we have the Nine of Swords, and it is in reverse, but it did come in the upright initially. So initially, um, they were keeping quiet about something that was eating away at them. See, that's, that's what they're doing. It's been eating away at them, and they've been keeping quiet. Now, in the reverse here, um, I feel like they're determined to get the truth. They, they can no longer continue this way. They didn't really want this ending, even if they did initiate it. It feels like uh, what I see here with this chariot and this page here, it feels like uh, this is somebody who was very angry in the past. And anger drove them to do something or to say something that caused this situation so there they lost control why they lost control is another story but it is something that needs to be addressed okay um so uh now they want to heal this uh heal this situation and so um this decision that they're thinking of taking to uh to approach or face this problem and to come and to fix things to get this off their chest this decision will reveal the truth or will lead them to the truth and from here uh, this card says that things either improve or cause more upheaval and I think perhaps that's what they're worried about that it, it could Maybe uh, maybe they won't hear what they want to hear. Maybe they won't be able to uh, heal this. Maybe you won't give them another chance, you know. And, and I think that's uh, what they're afraid of. So adjustments need to be made. And um, uh, adjustments need to be made for a healing to happen for another cycle to end this cycle and begin another. And uh, uh, that involves this person speaking the truth or to tell the truth, so to speak, um, about how they really feel about someone. And um, I feel if they've made a mistake and they realize they made a mistake, um, guilt would be eating at them and they would uh, be wanting to get that off their chest and apologize for that. It feels like they could have an anger issue that uh, caused them to, to do this. It feels like you slipped away from them or that's how they're feeling, like they let you get away, you know. Because it feels like you're the one with the Empress here. That's how they view you. They're worried about um, whether or not you'll give them another chance. It's what's at the root here. This is also about, I feel like if they've been sitting and waiting, this is about getting up and making change. There's an opportunity here in, during this time period to change something, but they're going to have to take action. They're going to have to move towards it, step up to the wheel, and take that spin. This requires them to step into the unknown, and that could frighten them. But um, it feels like 
even though they may be afraid, it's it, it feels like they will do this anyway because they're tired of 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 this of this situation that they're in of being uh, constantly in pain uh, of constantly wondering of grief over this loss of somebody that they truly love how they handle this will be very very important um and this is what they're it's what they're thinking of you know I need to handle this very carefully. I need to be really careful about what I say because last time <laughs> I lost control of myself, right? So this person um, needs... The, what their plan is, uh, although they have tried and tried and tried to practice what they're going to say, they, they never seem to really be able to... to uh, to settle on something. I feel like this is the plan now is just speak from the heart. Just be honest and speak from the heart. And if they've done you wrong and they feel like they, they have, um, they will be apologizing for it. You will hear how this person really feels about you. And this is coming. I feel like this action that this person finally takes after a long time, this will lead them to the Ten of Cups. It is here at um, in, the, in the overall energy. So, you know, this is returning uh, a situation to peace. This is a very happy event, something really... Uh, happy in your future. So, um, this is what I see that is coming towards you. This is where they are in this uh, stage of uh, determining what they're going to do of putting an end to a very painful period um, and and moving forward with this getting this off their chest something that has been eating at them so they're going to reveal something to you and I feel like this could very well be uh, a very very emotional reunion between you two. You know, they're, they're worried about the worst, but they're hoping for the best, you know. And um, they have to get this off their chest. And it's like, it's like, it's like this card says, and this was the first card out in the reading. You know, the truth is coming out. Um, they need to tell the truth, to know the truth, to know where you stand, to know if there could be another chance. So, um, if this person is unburdening themselves, um, then from here, from that point, that's that's right what they have in their mind right now is unburdening themselves. And from here, from that point, it either improves or causes more upheaval. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.